What's going on guys? Welcome on to Arsenal Fan TV. I'm going to get straight into analysing the Arsenal performance tonight because there's a few points I want to make uh, to wrap up at the end of this video which might actually take quite a bit of time for me. But the performance tonight, it was a great win. Arsenal looked so convincing. Another North London derby win and it was, it was an absolute great game of football. Tottenham, we kept them so quiet for I'd say about 80 minutes of that game. Um, and I think Wenger actually got the lineup spot on this evening. It was a great team to start. I'm so glad that Serge Nabry got a start because he, I've, I've always thought he played well this season. He'd had a couple of great games earlier on in the season against Swansea especially. He'd certainly earned that start and he was the star man today. Man of the match for me. He stood out. He created chances, making the likes of Kira Kez, who had just defended a great game against United away, making players like that look like absolute mugs. And he had a great, great game. Uh, I can't credit him enough. And if Walcott is injured, then it is a great opportunity for him to step up to the plate. Uh, I want to see him play more often because we can't waste this guy. He is so immensely talented. And he's got to be playing week in and week out for me because he's just... Such an exciting prospect. It is, we're so lucky to have a guy like Nabry at our club. And not to mention other players like Zellerlen that didn't feature tonight. But uh, that aside, it was very convincing from Arsenal. That first half, I felt we were the only team in it. We, we were pressing. Walcott had a superb chance in the first half. It was a lovely chance created by Nabry. Squared it. Walcott, unfortunately, couldn't hit the target. Um, we had a couple of other chances. Again, I think Walcott missed another golden opportunity. Uh, and, you know, it was only a matter of time before the goal was coming. And one player, another player who actually stood out for me for the whole game today, Nacho Monreal, I thought he had an absolutely fantastic game. He had a spot on performance. His crosses are absolutely superb. And his tracking back as well. The same goes for uh, Cazorla and Walker. I thought their tracking back was immense today. I'm glad to see them mucking out, doing a bit of dirty work and really helping out defensive duties because we did certainly look very sound today. Vermarlin, again, another player that had a really good game, went off at half time. Uh, Koscielny, again, everyone played extremely well for Arsenal today. It's one of the best performances I've seen from Mikel Arteta today as well. I'm really impressed with him. Um, but like I was saying, we dominated that first half, only a matter of time before the goal came. And I think it came in about the 30 minute mark. Excellent, excellent work by Serge Nabry, shrugging Spurs defenders to the side. Getting it through to Cazorla, 1-0 up, the Emirates came alive and it was just absolutely rocking from there to be 1-0. I mean, we could have gone 2-0 gone up before, before the half-time whistle, but to see, see it out at half-time, 1-0, kept Spurs quiet. When they, they, they fielded a very strong team, I mean, they fielded what their first, their um, strongest 11. We still had the likes of Ozil, Podolski, Mertzaka on the bench, so it just proves quite how strong we were today. Fabianski, again, before I talk about anything else, Fabianski deserves a lot of credit today. Although he made one or two fumbles, nothing major, that was kind of just kicking the ball out of play. But he was absolutely phenomenal today. For the little bit of work he had to do, I mean, there was an opportunity in the first half where Spurs actually could have taken a lead and he made a quality save. He really did uh, do himself justice today and he played extremely well, Fabianski. So I'm impre uh, incredibly proud of him. Uh, but as I get into the second half, again, uh, we, we were dominant. It was so purely pure Arsenal dominance. Spurs, they had one or two chances. Soldado, he had a pretty good opportunity. Um, had a shot from outside the box and uh, kind of just absolutely fumbled it. Soldado, how they paid 20-something million for this guy bewilders me. He's not worth the loose change in my pocket. He is absolute garbage. He... It seems he can only score from a penalty spot, and he was appalling today. So was Adi Bayor. I think the only good player for Spurs was probably um, pr pr probably Aaron Lennon, but none of their players really stood out for me as having a good game because they were just so quiet for the whole 90 minutes. But again, it was more Arsenal pressure. We had a lot of pressure. Spurs had about 5-10 minutes of pressure in the build-up to our goal, but we were the one pining on the pressure, and it, we had to make something from it because we were just putting so much pressure on them, and we had to have a final end product. <coughs> um... And we got that, not the generic style where the foyer would have come in, but a mistake by Tottenham. I think it was Danny Rose with a mistake. Great work by Rosicki. Um, a lot of credit has to go for him for making the tackle, getting the ball, making such a run from the halfway line all the way to the goal. A lovely dink over the keeper. A lot of people wouldn't have thought to do that. And it's, it's a great goal for him. Capped off his performance. Another contender for man in the match today. Rosicki had an outstanding game. Uh, and for his age, he's 30, um, 33 or something. Uh, it was an absolutely superb game from him. He had an excellent performance. He always does in an Arsenal show. He's such a trooper. 
and there's not anyone I want to win a trophy in an Arsenal shirt more than Thomas Rosicki. He deserves it so much. He's got a never say die attitude and I honestly, I really wanted to uh, retire at this club with a Premier League medal to his name because he just deserves one so, so, so much. But we were 2-0 up, Spurs went totally flat and we basically started the game from there. Spurs had a couple of uh, attempts on goal, they, they piled on quite a bit of pressure to, in the final 10-15 minutes but no final product from them and they really weren't a threat at all. But that's my analysis of the game. Now the other points that I quickly wanted to talk about. Um, Theo Walcott with his little 2-0 uh, thing, absolute legend for doing that. But um, the Spurs fans reacting to it, I mean I thought it was just a bit of a laugh but the way they reacted to it was appalling, throwing coins. Um, drinks, cans, that kind of thing, at Walcott. I mean, you know, they didn't actually hit Walcott, but they, they, they hit stewards, they certainly hit stewards. They could have hit ball boys, little kids, for all they know. It, it could have gone... A, it, I really hope that gets investigated. I mean, people saying uh, that the FA could investigate Walcott for, 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 the, uh, for the gesture, investigate Spurs fans for throwing a shed load of garbage at him. And then, it wasn't even that they were doing it, before Walker was getting stretched up, they were throwing out Fabianski as well. It's absolute classless, classlessness from them. It's 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 pitiful. It's pathetic. It's cowardly. And that brings me on to my next point: the Arsenal stewards not getting involved. Um, the way I see it, they always tend to get involved when Arsenal fans want to stand up, create an atmosphere, sing songs. Then they all turn to sit down, and we can't do that. But the minute that that as some kind of authority figure is actually needed at the Emirates when Spurs fans are throwing drinks and cans, that kind of thing, at our players, they, they just back down and do absolutely nothing. It was so poor from the stewards. And we had to get the police in, which, you know, it is, it is their responsibility. But the stewards were appalling today. Absolutely laughable how poor the stewards were. But, you know, it, it wasn't about the stewards. It was about Arsenal. And it was a great win today. And we're progressing through to the next round of the Cup. We've got a significantly long rest now until the Villa game. And uh, this is massive. This is something to go on, and I'm just so so pleased tonight. It's uh, couldn't really have asked for a better performance from Arsenal. The atmosphere was amazing. The Emirates was buzzing. Oh, it was just a great night. Um, but leave, let me let me know your thoughts on the game. Um, it'd be great to hear your opinion on this one. Leave a like rating if you did enjoy the video. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, guys.